Welcome to our training, Understand Your Account Health Metrics. When your business operates at a high standard, you create a seamless shopping experience for customers. Account Health Metrics can help you measure and improve the customer experience and know how well you're complying with our selling policies. In this training, we'll provide an overview of account health metrics and share tips for maintaining a healthy account. The first step toward achieving a healthy account is understanding our guidelines and targets. We encourage you to regularly monitor your account performance using the Account Health Dashboard in Seller Central. From there, you can easily see if you're meeting our performance targets, like complying with Amazon's policies and maintaining a low late shipment rate. Start by signing into your Seller Central account. To access your Account Health Dashboard, click the menu in the top left corner of the page. Hover over Performance and select Account Health. Three categories determine your overall account health, customer service performance, policy compliance, and shipping performance. When you maintain your performance targets across each of these areas, you help create a great customer experience and set your business up for success. The Customer Service Performance section helps you measure how satisfied your customers are with the products and service you provide. This metric is determined by your account's order defect rate, or ODR. An order has a defect if it results in negative feedback, an A to Z guarantee claim that isn't denied, or a chargeback claim. Let's take a closer look at each of these factors. Customer feedback is considered negative if the customer leaves a product review of two stars or less. Whether positive or negative, customer feedback is an important part of the Amazon shopping experience. Managed appropriately, these reviews can benefit both you and your customers. For example, they may help you quickly identify and address a problem with a product listing before your business is negatively impacted. An A to Z guarantee claim allows customers to ask Amazon to investigate a dispute related to an order. They can submit a claim if they feel you haven't properly addressed their negative experience according to your or Amazon's policies. A to Z guarantee claims help us regain valuable customer trust when the condition of a product or the timing of its delivery didn't meet expectations. We recommend following these tips to help prevent negative feedback and claims. Accurately represent your products using clear images and descriptions. Accurately describe the condition of your products. For example, if a customer expects to receive a new item in its original packaging, getting a used item in excellent condition would still result in a negative customer experience. Confirm your shipments in Seller Central as soon as you ship an order. Cancel out-of-stock orders and contact customers to let them know you can't fulfill their orders. Respond to customer messages within 24 hours and do your best to resolve any issues. The last metric that impacts your ODR is chargeback claims. A chargeback is when the order amount is refunded to the customer due to a dispute or return. To help avoid chargeback claims, fulfill orders with care by using adequate packaging and trackable shipping methods. Your overall ODR target should be less than 1% of total orders during a given 60-day period. For example, if you received 300 orders over the past 60 days, you should aim to receive less than three one- or two-star ratings, A to Z guarantee claims, or chargeback claims. The Policy Compliance section is designed to bring awareness to intellectual property issues, authenticity concerns, product conditions, and other policy violations. The policies listed in this category help us make the Amazon store safe for buyers and fair to all selling partners. Use the Seller Central search bar to find and review help pages related to these policies. As a reminder, these resources are provided as informational guides. They aren't comprehensive and don't take the place of legal advice. It's your responsibility to carefully review our policies and your local state and federal laws to make sure your products and listings are compliant. Monitor the policy compliance section of your account health dashboard regularly and respond to policy violation warnings. For example, if you receive a warning regarding an intellectual property rights violation, you might follow the appeals process by providing invoices from a valid supply source with other relevant documents. Any documentation requests will appear on your Account Health Dashboard under the Product Compliance Request section. 
your policy compliance target should be zero, meaning you should aim to avoid all policy violations. The shipping performance metric can help you make sure you're giving customers the information they need after they place an order. The late shipment rate metric represents the total percentage of orders that you confirmed after the order's expected shipping date. As a reminder, confirming a shipment in Seller Central is a separate task from shipping the order. For example, a customer orders one of your products which you've indicated will ship within three days. You ship the order within this time frame, but you wait until four days after the order was placed to confirm the shipment in Seller Central. Since the shipment is confirmed outside of the specified date range, this order is considered a late shipment. The pre-fulfillment cancel rate represents the total percentage of orders you canceled during a given seven-day period. This metric includes all orders or items that you cancel, but doesn't include cancellation requests initiated by the customer using the order cancellation options in their Amazon account. We recommend you keep your available inventory up to date to help avoid order cancellations. Your customers depend on tracking numbers to find out where their orders are and when they can expect to receive them. The Valid Tracking Rate Metric, or VTR, represents the total percentage of packages with a valid tracking number during a given 30-day period. When you confirm a shipment, you'll need to provide the name of the carrier, type of delivery service you're using, and the tracking ID. Certain orders are excluded from this metric, like audiobook orders that a carrier can't physically ship. For included orders, we recommend choosing a carrier that reports tracking information to Amazon. You can either use our Buy Shipping Services or use one of our integrated carriers. Follow these steps to access the Buy Shipping page. 1. Select the menu in the top left corner of Seller Central. 2. Hover over Orders and select Manage Orders. 3. Click the Buy Shipping button next to the order you want to ship. If you'd like to find a list of our integrated carriers, type Valid Tracking Rate FAQ in the Seller Central search bar. For MFN orders or orders you fulfill yourself, your shipping performance targets should be to keep your late shipment rate below 4%, your pre-fulfillment cancel rate below 2.5%, and VTR above 95%. Fulfillment by Amazon orders or FBA orders don't impact your shipping performance or overall account health. Remember, maintaining your account health targets can help create a great customer experience, as well as help prevent your selling privileges from being negatively impacted. Along with the information you learned today, we recommend you take a few additional steps to help maintain your account health and avoid interruption to your business. Check your account health performance at least once a week and as often as possible. Track, ship, and deliver orders on time and as promised. Set a schedule to review your product catalog and remove any restricted products from your listings. As a reminder, Amazon policies and your local regulations may change over time. Finally, respond to customer messages within 24 hours and consider using the Amazon Seller app to respond as soon as possible and from almost anywhere. You can install the Amazon Seller app on your mobile device and log in using your Seller Central login credentials. You now have the tools to help you maintain a healthy Seller Central account and create a great customer experience. This concludes our training, Understand Your Account Health Metrics. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.